I used is, is part one. So you got your magazine, it's already wound up. You know what load these things is a high cap. This is what you should be using. Say load it. There's a toilet lid, you open it up, put the BBs in there. There are BBs in here. I don't think you can see it. There goes some BBs in there. And you wind it with this winding wheel at the bottom of it. You stick it in the magwell. This is how you stick a magazine in the magwell properly. You do it calmly like this. I was I was using the phone to do the thing, so you just bad. Oh, I'll do a, an example. This. This, uh, this is sliding based, and basically you slide it to adjust it. That is forward, this means there's nothing, no hop up. Back, it means there's a hop up. And basically, you want to find the uh, proper balance between hop up and, you know, whatever. You read the manuals, the BB isn't supposed to go all the way up, and it's not supposed to go down. It's supposed to shoot as far as you can, you're supposed to go as far as you possibly can go, and you balance it out, okay? And when you use heavier BBs, uh, you have to make the hop up, like, you have to adjust it more, okay? This is, on the AK, you got the fire selector, all the way to the bottom is semi-auto, and that's because the Russian army, they, uh, that when their guys would panic, they just, they do this, they just, all the way in the back. So if you want full auto, it's, it's in the middle. It's just save, full, get save, full, get semi. Don't use any K-Mag release, right? Back. Yeah, the whole thing. Yeah, this thing does not take time to use this magazine. This is not a good mag. This gun it did not fit in there very well. Stock magazine would have done better, a lot better. All right. Um, sides are adjustable. You don't need to adjust them. Let's put them all the way in the back. All the way in the back over here. And I get like a little, a little like. Uh, it's, a, it's just, it's just uh, see this, this the weird like end thing right here. This, is this weird shit. It's like, oh, it's gonna stay in place farther, put it farther back. Not farther than it should be. Because you want your BB to fly over your sights so you can actually see where you're aiming. That's one of the upsides of these pistol sights. You can see them fly over the sights, that and a lot easier to aim down because you don't need to, to uh, put your eyeball right up to the little poop thing in the back of the little pinhole. If you want to know how to shoulder this thing, if you're that, if you're that dumb, uh, you don't know how to shoulder a rifle, so 
you go. Right around here. Take in your armpit a little bit, like just, just half of it goes in your armpit. This, the other half, like that. Half of the armpit, other half not in your armpit. Practice. And um, sometimes you might have to shoot while you can't look down the sights. Don't look down the sights. There's something called point shooting, which is when you walk your feet on the target. So you walk through your go and you just like basically when you miss, because you shoot full auto, right? So you're missing like, like that. So it's like over there, you're aiming over here. Um, That's about it. Those are just my only that much trouble to be burned. Bring the cleaning rod comes off. It just comes off and it's not for anything. So let's take a look. Take a look at my AK. Look at it. Good. Close look at it. See what you can do with your AK. Copy me. Be a dickhead. Copy people's shit. You're not creative. This is my AK. SEMA CMO48. Buy it. Not for $150, not for $200. I'd say it's worth about $140. Even though it was the best thing you can get, like out in the market, it's if, if you can't get it for under $145, just don't buy it. It's not like there are better options. But if there actually are, but you should try to get the um, the SEMA CM, like the ones that have less steel on them, like the. Uh, CMO 3.1, the CMO, oh no, should do that, I don't have the uh, thing on there, it just came off, I mean it did come off, and, uh, that worked, I lost it, yeah, and also if you want to know how to stick these things in here properly, this is a 9.6, 9.6, six. they call them 9.6 because it's a, it's 9.6 volts, each one of these cells is 1.2 volts, uh, you could probably find it on there, yeah, 1.2 volts, one two zero zeros. So, what's 1.2 times 8? 9.6. It does tell you when you buy it though. But um, you see how I have the fuse right here? So basically, you move the fuse all the way to the back, like, like all the way to the bottom right here, and then you stick the battery in. And what happens is you gotta pull on it just a little bit, just a bit. Just pull on a little bit, and then you just gotta like wiggle it in there a bit. My method isn't wiggling. I, I for some reason I just get it right, like just by like like that. You stick it right there. You push this thing in. But there there are better methods. Like see see how I got it all the way in there just by tugging on it to this weird direction. I don't know how that works. It just does. And you just have them all in there. And when you want to connect them, you just go like this. Oh, wrong, whatchamacallits. Don't be rough with these wires, okay? Do not. It's not safe. Um, there's some other things you can do to your gun if you wanted to. Like, um, if you know how to, if you want to know how to stain these things, I can teach you how to do that. Like, stain the wood on them if you have one that has wood. Basically, what you do is you get sandpaper and you just sand the hell out of it. Like you just take all of the shit off of it and you get like the actual wood on there. You know what wood looks like, right? Do you? It's, it's pretty white. It's The whole thing will basically be white. And you'll see like a little bit of the grain. And what you do is um, you go to Home Depot and you buy uh, the tiniest, the smallest thing of stain. And you get, um, what's that thing they, they, put, they use? A paintbrush, yeah. You just get a paintbrush and you just brush it and if you want to laminate it you can laminate it but what I did is got a car car polish a car polish it was um, it was this car stuff car it was like this thing you spray on and it makes like a layer of this shit car spray on something and then I just uh, what I did is I scratched it off and then I put it back on you know I scratched it off stained it and Put it, put it back on, scratched it, stained it, put it back on, and it has a bit of a fucked up whatchamacallit to it. Let's go to this. 
say that. See that? You just get a knife. Yeah. This right here. Like when you, if you want to get all fucked up, sand it. You just get a sander. Just sand it. And um, I, another method of doing that is you stick a bit of spray paint on there so you get a bit of a fade. So it looks like it's actual AK paint because uh, Chinese SEMA paint and all paint on all guns, okay? You know, whatever. Um, not you know, you know, like actual AK. Those are Narinkos. Um, it did ship like this. Like it just comes off. It's either paint or no paint. Steel, no paint. So what I did is I got some spray paint on there, then I sanded it a bit of the spray paint or scratched it off or something with my nail. See? That comes off pretty easily. It, it, it's, it just does. <laughs> and um, you basically take off a lot of it, and then you stick the spray paint on there and you get the fade. That, and you go, so you just get a, you, know, you just spray paint a fade on there. I don't, I don't know how you can't do that. That should be like natural for you. This is actually a tie I made out of, uh, not tie, a knot I made out of tape. So I lost the, uh, the gas block uh, lever. Not gas block lever. Gas tube lever? Yeah, glad gas tube lever. Uh, yeah. This is actually resting on my crotch, if you didn't know. I'm using my, uh, like, my penis to hold this up. You know that? Did you? This is part of the video. 